Good morning. Um, I'm very happy to uh, to share my work before you people. I'm not a much educated person. I studied only third standard at the school. Um, anyway, I will say about my transformation, my life. Uh, usually born with my family, poor family. I gave a lot of trouble to my family. Because of my bad friends, I used to drink much uh, uh, ganja and uh, arak and all the bad things in my life. I used to rob, first I started to rob in my father's packet only. Then uh, in my home and neighbor's house in my area, it's grown to second area then totally my old parents they rejected me uh, from a home because I robbed my mommy mangalyam also the, the mangal suit and I sell it and drink it and even I robbed my mother sari and I kept in a marwadi shop I used to drink then usually my whole family used to tell, if I go to home, they'll say, like, go get out from home, go and die somewhere. Why you want to come? Why you, why you want to give a trouble for us? Why you want to spoil our family name? You go and sleep in the railway track, let in, you can get into pieces and die. They used to curse me, curse me. Then if I go to my relation's house, they'll tell, I hey, he's coming. He will took something from our home. Before that, they will be very alert. Then. Uh, Night time after second show cinema, I'll go with my friends and I'll, after one o'clock, two o'clock, I used to go robs, not in big way, small, small. Every day I need uh, at least 500 rupees to drink. Uh, such a character, my family sent me out from home. Then I came to street, I used to sleep on the bus stand, railway station, park, uh, in bridges near a footpath. I used to live like a uh, beggars, like a street people. Then I ran to Chennai, and same thing I did it in Chennai also. Uh, I used to one me home uh, shelter to the you know home. Then I was in the uh, slum. Even that home also I robbed a uh, lamp, kutubala uh, lamp. Then uh, I came. They beat me nicely, and uh, they never put put me in a jail. Uh, then I ran from that uh, slum and I came to. Uh, railway station. I was thinking, okay, uh, this is a not good thing. Why can't you go back to the parents? I can fall with my parents' uh, food and uh, give, give me, forgive me. I will be a good person. I'll ask a last chance with my parents. Just, I was sleeping in the um, railway station. At night, uh, one o'clock, the police holding my hand and uh, just, just listening to the uh, police station and they put me in a prison and in the prison uh, more than 300 people same like this like a hall uh, 300 people is there every morning uh, uh, 8 o'clock till uh, night uh, 8 o'clock we should sit on the floor early morning 5 o'clock we should stand uh, nakedly on the uh, room and uh, it's uh, like a hell uh, night time couldn't sleep uh, the big uh, big fellows, the rowdy fellows, they want to misuse the young boys like a homosexuality. That kind of things used to be happened in that room. I used to cry. Uh, what can I do? How can I go out? I used to struggle much. But um, uh, we don't have ex exercise in our body. Then I became a sick person. Uh, Ten days I couldn't go motion and uh, um, uh, much temperature, heavy fever. I was, I was, I was thinking in my heart, I will die. Okay. That, uh, there is no mother to call, mom, dad, can you help me? Then, then I was just thinking in my heart, okay, why, can, why can't you, why can't we call God? Is there, is there God is there to help me? Just, I was closing my eyes and um, just uh, meditating myself for uh, two and a half hours to three hours. Um, after three hours, just my, something has happened to my body. Sweating came and uh, uh, fever was gone and uh, it's not something is, uh, is strength I got it. Then I, I asked, okay, it's a miracle uh, without any single tablet as the paracetamol or the crocin. 
it's a miracle upon Sita and I too. Just I had a small deal with the God. Okay, God, uh, I think so. You, you are there in the uh, world. God is there. Okay, uh, we have one small deal. God, if you if you change my life, uh, definitely I'll become a good person. Can you take me from the prison before Christmas? Then, uh, before Christmas, my parents came and they took me to the home. I fall in my parents' feet. They ask them, uh, "Mummy, this is the last." Give me a thousand rupees in my life. First, help me a support. They gave me a thousand rupees. I got an auto rickshaw license, uh, driving license. I started to drive auto rickshaw car in the city. Then, when I used to drive the auto rickshaw car in the city, I used to s unexpectedly my eyes used to go to left and right. Uh, people are lying on the road with the hungry food, no with the uh, food and uh, clothing, uh, no bath, long beer and. Uh, uh, flies, hundreds of flies and mosquito bites, uh, thousands, thousands of lice in the head. And uh, with the hungry, they used to uh, counting the minutes in the uh, street and to die. I saw that kind of people and the God, what can I do for these people? That time, Mother Teresa also died. Uh, God, what can I do this for, for these people? I was asking my heart for two years. Then one day, I saw when man was lying nakedly like a dead rat in the street and um, you can see the clippings that that man was lying uh, just a dead rat he was counting the minutes to die and then i saw that man after two two years i took a decision in my heart okay uh, god uh, can you help me to feed my wife and children i will start this work then dr david das he came forward he gave me 500 rupees then in the 500 rupees i started to help to help my wife and children then I started in a just a three by six feet scooter parking place. Just a three by six feet scooter parking place. I started to pick my, my home. In my home I started. Then slowly, slowly I grown. I got a small rent house. My neighbors also, neighbors people, they'll tell, hey, he's become a mad fellow. He's bringing mad people and cleaning and doing this and that and all the told. Then uh, I took a rent house. Then I started with 13 people. Then uh, one church people, they gave campus crusade, they gave uh, one land, half an acre land and 3,300 square foot building. And uh, we started to keep uh, 100 people, it became a 200 and 300, now 400 people. From the uh, past 15 years, uh, we rescued uh, more than 4,000 people. Uh, more than 2,000 people, they died in peace, in dignity. Every month we see the death in our home. Uh, just uh, um, um, one for a month, 10, 20, 30 also sometimes. When one night, five people will die. One night, two people will die. Our main aim, many people before dying know they want to eat a, a apple or Pepsi and a masala dosa and a, like a, one ma man is asking uh, before dying, sir, sir, uh, chicken biryani, sir, sir, sir. And after two days, he died. My, my aim, before dying, no, they should have a smile in their face. They used to die in peace, in dignity. Uh, just, you can watch a five minutes video. After that, you can go to the screen. The high-tech city of Asia, the Silicon Valley, and one of the most beautiful city in India, Bengaluru, has many people living on platforms, lanes, and in places where animals live. Such people curse life and themselves and even God. Will they find a dawn? Whose mistakes are all these? Who is responsible for all these? Many blamed fate and neglected such people. Even children are neglected and even the society will not care about these. But one person who lived their lives is Otto Raja. Day and night from all the 63 police stations in Bengaluru, 
policemen bring such people and leave them at home of hope. Their Otto Raja and his colleagues take responsibility of these people. In the past 13 years, they have saved 3,000 people. Liberation from idleness, treating them from severe illness, praying for the path to eternal peace, clean and treat rotten parts of the body. Fulfilling the last wish of drinking Pepsi before dying, prepare and eat nutritious food and eat together with all people. Orphans and institutes are tasting a new life with the help of people serving with love and spend the last phase of life. There is no proper symmetry for burning them. And so their bodies are cremated the Government Electric Crematorium. So far, 1,300 people have passed away peacefully here. Indira. She was brought by Government Helpline Ambulance and has been rescued by the public from the street and brought to her home. She had maggots on her left eye, ear, and with big wounds. Atto Raja and his team treated her. She was weak and no energy. After 24 hours, she opened her eyes. Within two weeks, there is a total transformation in her life. Today she lives like a princess in the home. And she stands as a symbol of how changes the life of an affected individual. Narayana Swami. Bangalore City Central Police Station limits rescued and brought to our home a young man by name Narayana Swami. With head injury, he was very weak and unconscious. He lost his memory power and was on the street. Then we cleaned the wounds and removed the maggots from his head and treated him. He came from a nearby village to Bangalore City in search of a job and livelihood. He was working a building construction. While working, he fell down from the second floor and there was severe head injury and was left on the streets uncared for more than 40 days. After he completely healed, he started working in our home. Now he's doing engineering and other works. He got married and gave life to one girl who was cheated and left by her husband. Her name is Sunita. years I'm doing, I'm living with my wife and my three kids in the same home. If you come to my home, much smell will come. And uh, why means, see, whatever is you want, 
maybe we are, we are written in the world like a mukesh ambani or a malaya or big like a, but when you die know something nothing will come behind us when we do this kind of help for the poor people for the needy for the hunger then definitely it will come behind us when we die every man will believe that and see auto raja can't change the world we need a lot of uh, auto rajas to change the uh, our nation to help the poor people um, we can't we should not wait for the one more mother teresa to come to our nation to do a same service we should be like uh, mother teresa we should do a uh, helping a poor people uh, to run um, see past 25 uh, sorry for the past 15 years i'm doing uh, every month we need a 3000 kilo of rice when i started in the mp and no no money to feed uh, my wife and children just the mp hand and just by grace god's grace now i am feeding a uh, uh, 400 people every day uh, three tons of rice and uh, whatever things we are managing we never missed from 15 years a single meal for my people because of uh, public support and all people have supported and uh, thank you so much and giving me opportunity to share my work and be strong thank you so much